songs and I'm just going to be over here doing some work, okay? In the attention condition, the establishing operation takes place and the privation state is created. In this condition, the teacher gives the individual moderately preferred items and instructs the, the child to go and play. After the, the, after the initial instruction, teacher pretends to act busy and ignores all bits of attention from the individual. If the individual engages in the behavior of interest, the experimentator teacher provides the individual with attention for short period of time and also commonly in the form of reprimand. Behaviors that occur more frequently in the, this condition can be assumed to be attention maintained. The condition lasts 10 to 15 minutes can be repeated over three sessions and duration and frequency of the behavior would be typically recorded using partial interval recording methods. Okay, well, what you're gonna do is draw a lovely picture for me and I'm just gonna be sitting right here okay. doing my work, okay? Super. Maybe sweet. Oh, later, yeah. After you draw your picture. No, Bob. Not now. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Here you go. There you go. You must back up from what you were drawing. Later. Fine. No, we said later. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> One more. Here we go. Yeah. There you go. No, that's it. Finished. Okay. In the tangible condition, the reinforcers use can be a preferred items or food. The MO manipulated within this condition is establishing operation, which means that deprivation state, state is created. Children begins the session with placing the preferred toy or drink in a visible place but away from the reach of the client. The principle of that condition is to ignore the requests of getting an access to the tangibles and to allow the access to the tangibles for a short period of time only if the client engaged in the problem behavior. This means that if client engages in a problem behavior within this condition, the behavior is likely to be maintained by tangible. Hi Bob, here's all of your favorite bits to do. You have your jellies, your straws, your bubble wrap and your music. In the present condition, the, con the control condition, abolition operation takes place and satiation state is created. In this condition, 
the child is allowed to engage with a variety of items during the session. No demands are placed on the child throughout the duration of the session. The teacher provides attention to the individual throughout the session on any behavior that is not the target behavior. If the target behavior occurs, the teacher removes at 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 attention until the behavior has subsided. This session is meant to act as a control condition, meaning that the environment is enriched for the purpose of the, the behavior not occurring. Said another way, by meeting environmental needs for all possible functions, the individual is not likely to engage in the behavior of interest. This condition is used as a comparison to the other conditions. Any condition that is elevated to a large degree form the control condition shows a higher degree experimental control, including the functional relationship between the specific environmental conditions and the behavior of interest. The condition lasts between 10 to 15 minutes and can be repeated about three times. It is recorded via partial interval recording methods and the interval is set for one minute long because we are looking not at the very high frequency behaviors. If you would looking at stereotypy behavior, for instance, that with the very high frequency of occurring, we could set up the interval for a few seconds long, or even a second long. Okay, Bob, we're going to do our work now. <laughs> okay, work is finished. No more work. Okay, let's try one more time. Let's do our work. Okay, work is finished, work is finished. In this video, we're looking at the demand condition. The reinforcement placed in, placed in the condition is escaped from the task. MO manipulated within the condition is establishing operation, which means that deprivation state, state is created. The client is presented with the task of tacting the numbers, presented every 30 seconds on the individual cards, for instance. If client responds correctly, teacher will deliver a reinforcement. If client responds incorrectly, teacher implements pr correction procedure. The principle of that condition is to terminate trial immediately if client engages in problem behavior. If client engages in problem behavior, this could mean that the function of the behavior is maintained by escape, by, by escape function. If client emits inappropriate behavior, it is important to terminate the trial and remove all the materials immediately. Again, the behaviors are recorded using partial interval recording data sheet, where with intervals set for one minute long. Okay, Bob, I'm just going to go outside and make a quick phone call, okay? Yep. In this video, boy is observed while on his own. There is very low levels of stimulation available. For instance, in such condition there will be no practitioner, teacher or parent present, no toys, no reinforcing items, activities and so on present. The frequency of the problem behavior, in this case crying or lying on the floor, could be recorded via CCTV or a one-way mirror. This would be called the alone condition. And if the behavior was frequent during this condition, it would suggest that the behavior is occurring because of an automatic reinforcer. This means that behavior is self-stimulated and does not involve another person. The duration of the behaviors, if occurred, would be then recorded via partial interval recording methods. And this data would be then plotted on a graph 
so it can be visually analyzed in order to identify a possible causal link between the manipulations and the duration of the behavior. Okay, Bob, I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> You're just every, sitting there. Every, every condition, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>